Without touching anything else, pick up the gown and locate the neck. Step back and allow gown to unfold. With both hands, find the armholes. Hold at the top corners of the armholes and gently shake out. One at a time, place each arm in the sleeves, stopping at the cuffs. The circulating nurse will tie your gown. It is important to remember your gown is sterile only from mid-chest to waist level. There are commonly two types of gloving procedures, open and closed gloving. Using cuffed hands, open the glove packet and position the gloves so that the cuffs are nearest to you and the fingers are pointing away. Using your right hand, pull the left glove cuff down from the package by the fold of the cuff. Press down on the edge of the packaging to ensure there is no movement of the other glove. With your right hand still inside gown, pick up left glove and place it thumb to thumb, cuff to cuff. The glove fingers should be pointing towards your elbow. In your left hand, from the back of the glove, grasp the cuff of the glove and gown together. With your right thumb, grab the front of the cuff and pinch. Pull the glove cuff out, up and completely over the gown cuff. Slide and wriggle fingers into glove. Repeat for other hand. Once gloves are fitted, gently pull the gown sleeves down to remove any uncomfortable folds. Hands are exposed. Hold the two gloves together cuff to cuff. Slip the left hand in, then slip the gloved fingers under the right cuff, keeping the thumb outstretched to avoid touching the right hand as it's inserted into the glove. Pull the cuffs up and over gown cuff. The scrub nurse picks up the sterile gown. With front of the gown facing her, opens it up. She places her hands where the sleeve and shoulder seams meet. Here she forms a cuff over the top of her hands, preventing her from touching anything other than the gown. The surgeon steps forward and places his arms in the sleeves. The gown is pushed halfway up the arms. The circulating nurse, from behind, grasps the neckties and pulls the gown into place. She then ties the ties at the neck and waist. To expose the surgeon's hands, the scrub nurse carefully pulls the gown cuffs back to the wrist. Remove the glove and straighten the cuff. Using both thumbs inside the glove and four fingers outside, pinch the cuff edges. Rolling the fingers inward and the thumbs outwards, a cuff is formed over the fingers. Stretch the cuff, pointing your thumbs outwards, wide enough to allow surgeon's fingers to slide in. Once in place, unroll the cuff over gown. Repeat for the other gloves. It is important for your own protection to remove both your gown and gloves correctly. The back ties are undone by a team member. Undo the front ties, remove your gown inside out, and then discard in the linen skip. Place your right finger under the cuff of the left glove. Pull halfway off, exposing your left thumb. Put this thumb, left, inside the right cuff and pull off, ensuring both gloves are inside each other. Finally, dispose of in the infectious waste receptacle. This section briefly highlights various options available 
but each hospital will clarify current practice within their hospital policy. Double gloving, or donning, is recommended as studies have shown that surgical gloves can develop pinholes through frictional forces and during the operation. It is also recommended to change the outer glove every two hours. The dominant practice for fit and comfort is to wear a half size larger glove on the inside and your normal size on the outside. You will need to experiment to see which method is more comfortable for you. Further information about double donning is available on this disc. There are three variations of the gown available. The standard cloth, the disposable, and the reposable gown, which is designed to be recycled a limited number of times before disposal. As with gowns, there are also three main glove varieties available. The powdered glove, powder-free glove, and synthetic powder-free surgical gloves. Please note that powdered gloves present several clinically proven hazards to yourself and your patients. It is recommended that glove powder be aseptically removed before use. It is seen as much more cost effective to move to a powder-free surgical glove. Please see website for details of hazards of glove powder. Your hospital will have a preference either generally or departmentally, as will you with experience. As the major supplier of surgical gloves to the healthcare industry worldwide, Ansel is committed to ensuring a safe and sterile environment for the patient and critical protection every day for surgical personnel from biohazards. If you are interested in any further information, please refer to these recommended websites.